Have you ever wondered how the complex tapestry of life began from non-living matter? This enigma starts with a profound scientific concept known as abiogenesis, the idea that life as we know it sprang from inorganic substances. Travel back to the annals of history, where great minds pondered this fundamental question, sparking a quest that has captivated thinkers from ancient philosophers to modern scientists. Abiogenesis is not just a term. It's the gateway to understanding the very foundation of life. It challenges our perspectives and fuels the age-old debate on the origin of life. Over the centuries, this concept has shifted paradigms and propelled scientific inquiry. Today, as we stand on the shoulders of giants, we aim to fully grasp how the seemingly impossible became possible, how non-living matter transformed into the bustling, diverse biosphere we inhabit today. Join us as we piece together this fascinating story, billions of years in the making. Venturing deeper into the labyrinth of scientific inquiry, we move from the fundamental question of life's origin to explore tangible experiments and hypotheses that attempt to unravel this mystery. One of the cornerstone studies in this field is the Miller-Urey experiment, a groundbreaking endeavor that mimicked Earth's early atmosphere in a laboratory setting. In 1952, Stanley Miller and Harold Urey simulated lightning in an atmosphere composed of water, methane, ammonia, and hydrogen. This experiment produced not only complex organic molecules, but amino acids, the building blocks of life, supporting the idea that organic compounds necessary for life could be synthesized under primitive earth conditions. Building on the curiosity sparked by the Miller-Urey experiment, the RNA world hypothesis proposes an intriguing precursor to the DNA-driven life we know today. This hypothesis suggests that before DNA, Life was based on RNA, a molecule capable not only of carrying genetic blueprints, but also of catalyzing essential chemical reactions. This potential self-sustaining RNA-based system offers an explanation of how life could start from non-living molecules. Pushing the boundaries of what we know, recent advancements in synthetic biology have brought us closer to creating life in the lab, demonstrating how deep understanding of these processes leads to groundbreaking innovations. Researchers now engineer synthetic genomes and create organisms with expanded genetic codes, opening new avenues not only in understanding life's origins, but in crafting it. These explorations and discoveries provide not just answers, but also fuel the continuous quest into our biological genesis, paving the way for future leaps in science and philosophy. As we move forward, these findings reshape our understanding of life itself and hint at what future research might reveal. As we conclude our journey through the enigmatic realm of abiogenesis, we find ourselves at a remarkable crossroads of knowledge and speculation. The implications of our quest to understand life's origins extend beyond biology to the very pillars of scientific and philosophical thought. Whether considering biochemical paths in ancient hydrothermal vents or the complex dance of molecules in primordial environments, each discovery offers profound insights into life's origins and our place in the cosmos. Looking ahead, the future of research in abiogenesis is ripe with opportunities. Advancements in technology and interdisciplinary collaboration promise a new era of discovery. Scientists worldwide are encouraged to probe deeper, fueled by an insatiable curiosity that continually reshapes our understanding of the natural world. As we part ways with this exploration, let us carry forward the spirit of inquiry, support scientific endeavors, foster curiosity in the young minds around you, and remain ever vigilant in the pursuit of knowledge. For in grasping our beginnings, we may unlock the secrets of life itself.